we are diving deeper into the dark world of Disney. From Disney employees that have lost their lives at work to guests that have died in tragic ways. I'll be covering this and more in today's video. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay Ivan for those of you who don't know and why don't you hit that like button and subscribe, you know, stick around for a while. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. And yes, I'm wearing a Mickey shirt seems pretty fitting for the theme of today's video. So today we're gonna start things off with a very sad and tragic story, and that's the death of Javier Cruz. Javier Cruz began working at Disney in 1995 as a custodian. From there, he worked his way up to becoming a character actor. Typically, he would be in costume as Pluto. Sadly, in February of 2004, 38-year-old Cruz died during a parade at Disney. So this was the Share a Dream Come True parade at Magic Kingdom in Florida. So Cruz was dressed up as Pluto and was about to enter the park. However, the foot of his costume got caught between the second and third sections of a three-part float. When the vehicle began to move, his body was twisted around and he fell down. He was then run over by the third section of the float. Sadly, he passed away. Disney workers had to use a forklift and a hydraulic lift to get the vehicle off of him. Since this occurred in a backstage area before they went into public eye, park guests thankfully didn't see it happen, but they were horrified to find out what happened later on in the news. As a result of Cruz's death, Disney was actually fined by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, the OSHA. This was due to the fact that employees were exposed to the hazard of being struck by a motorized vehicle, which is quite serious and Cruz's family was so distraught upon hearing what happened to him. Now let's move on to the ashes. For years, this has been a popular urban legend about Disney, so chances are maybe you've heard of it, but it's true and has been verified by Disney employees. So of course, people love taking their loved ones to Disney World. But not your living loved ones. No, your dead loved ones. And then they like to sprinkle their ashes all over the park. Believe it or not, but this happens more often than you think. Visitors will bring their loved ones ashes on a ride and then release them down on Disney World. Like what happens if like a gust of wind just blows the ashes into like somebody else's mouth? Like they're like, ah! Not pleasant. Now the most popular ride that this happens on is the Haunted Mansion ride. I mean, I guess it's sort of fitting. Now, this is what will happen if Disney catches you doing this. First off, you get kicked out of the park and sometimes banned from returning to Disney. Then, Disney literally has a special vacuum that they use to suck up remains. Disney custodians say that this happens at least once a month. Like, that's messed up. Maybe don't do that. Like, your loved ones are just gonna end up in a vacuum. Now, when this does happen, Disney calls for a HEPA cleanup, which is obviously a code name for a park guest has scattered the cremated ashes of a loved one somewhere in the park. And an ultra fine or HEPA vacuum cleaner is needed to suck them up. Other rides people have done this on are the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, in the moat underneath the Flying Elephant Dumbo ride, and in the It's a Small World ride. On top of that, human ashes have been spread in flower beds, on bushes, and on Magic Kingdom lawns. Honestly, that's probably why Disney is so cursed. There's just dead people everywhere. Well, not really, but you, you know what I'm saying. And lastly, let's talk about the monorail. So at Disney World, they have a public transit system known as the monorail. Basically allows guests to travel free between locations associated with Disney. However, there have been a number of deaths as a result of the monorail. It started back in 1966 during the park's annual grad night. This is basically an after hours party for graduating high school seniors. Well, on that night, 19 year old Thomas Guy Cleveland attempted to sneak into the park. He climbed over the park's 16 foot high fence then climbed onto the monorail track. His plan was then to jump or climb down once he was inside the park. But while doing so, the monorail train struck him. It dragged his body 30 to 40 feet down the track. He passed away. That's not all. In 2000 in 2009, something else very tragic happened. On July 5th in 2009, two trains in the same Disney monorail line crashed at about 2 in the morning. The driver was 21-year-old Austin Woonenberg. He was transporting the last batch of guests for the night when another monorail came speeding towards him. They got into a head-on crash that took his life. 
he died instantly. After investigating the issue, it was discovered that this crash was entirely Disney's fault. This accident happened as a result of employee error and a lack of adequate safety protocol. Also, allegedly, one of the employees was at Denny's when this all happened, so... That employee and two others were suspended after this. Are you kidding me? He went to Denny's while he was working on duty. Ugh. One train was meant to transfer off of the resort's Epcot loop and onto a switch beam, but the train switch was never activated, so the train just reversed back down the Epcot line and into the second train. The OSHA proposed a 44,000 penalty against Walt Disney World for the incident, but Disney got it reduced to 35,000 after appealing it. Wow, okay, I know that was a pretty intense video, but let me know in the comments below which of these stories shocked you the most. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because part, what is this, part four is coming soon. All right guys, that's all. I'll see you when I see you. And stick around for some bloopers. And that's the death of Javier. Javier. <laughs> Typically, he w Good grandma, yes, Lindsay, like. <laughs> Sound like a cave fan. <laughs> so at Disney World, they have a public transit. <laughs> Epcot Blue? Epcot? Because. <laughs> yes, I am wearing pajama bottoms. <laughs> I swear, Disney is gonna ban me from ever coming back to their park.